Shalom, shalom. This is your brother YC Obey, and we are Sham Stoppers, and uh, we reserve our United States constitutional rights, freedom of speech, um, right to fair use. You know what I mean? Man, y'all get y'all notepads out. If y'all got some notepads, if not, just listen. You know what I mean? Title of this video is called Let me straighten up my screen. Hold up. Wait a minute. Title of this video is called They will test your chin. They will test your chin. You know what I mean? These people gonna test you when you go in the courtroom. You being scared, uh, nervous, and all that old shit. You know, uh, that ain't gonna help you. And the reason why you be nervous is because you don't know shit. You been listening to know nothing motherfuckers. You know what I mean? Who ain't experienced nothing. Who ain't cussed out a bitch. Who ain't cussed out a public servant. You know what I mean? Who ain't checked a motherfucker for getting disrespectful. You know what I mean? Doing that side snitching and that side capping. You know what I mean? Saying all that coming at you sideways and shit. I check any motherfucker. You know what I mean? Now, the reason why I got Jamal, Jamal Charlo up here is because I love his spirit. He's part, they got their own thing called the Lion's Den. And they gonna fight, they wanna fight whoever. You know what I mean? Like, I know motherfuckers ain't gonna call me to do no debate because they know better. Now, Let's talk about when you take your ass in court. Number one, can you take rejection? Huh? Do you know how to deal with rejection? Say, for instance, you get help from me. I tell your ass to go in there, you know what I mean? Do your thing. Uh, don't be afraid. Be a man, then when somebody tell you something, they tell you opposite. I'm the blame, right? For me having confidence in your ass, right? Number two, can you take a lie, the half truth? Can you take that shit? When you know deep down inside you telling the truth, but they want to go and rail railroad you, you know what I mean? Can you take that shit? Huh? They gonna test your chin. They gonna see can you take abuse. They gonna see is you battle tested. Right? Let me give you another example. Well now, number three. Can you get them to start on time when you go into court? For example, it starts at 8.30 but you sitting there all day like an idiot. Like a fucking fool. Huh? And you don't have to sit there all day. You sit there because you want to sit there. Because you don't know how to open your mouth and be a motherfucking man. You can move the goddamn court. Number four. Can and will you let someone make up your mind for you? Huh? Will you let them make your mind up for you? Like, we're going to go on here to do this for you, this and that, and you just sit there and take the shit. Instead of saying, nah, with a smile on your face, fuck remaining calm. Go on that bitch with us. Why you can't keep a smile on your face? Why you don't know how to say fuck you with a smile on your face? A lot of y'all ain't going to do that shit. Right? Right. Number five, harassing you. Will you let them keep on sending you shit in the mail? Huh? You gonna let them keep doing that shit to you? 
flood your mailbox this payment here this payment this payment this payment you gonna take that dick huh they gonna test your chin man you gonna take that fucking dick it's cause of the bitch and really it's cause of you letting this hoe do the shit she ain't your friend get it out your fucking minds your baby mamas ain't your friend unless she gonna take you off of that shit Unless you threaten her motherfucking ass. Because you getting ruled by third class motherfucking citizens. Man let her ass vote last. So how the fuck uh, let the last motherfucker gonna have power on the motherfucker who gave her privilege to do the shit? Damn. Number six. Will you let them make you upset? Huh? You gonna let them get him? You gonna let him get him mad? You gonna let him get him mad and turn and hurt his little feelings? Gonna hurt him little feelings? Huh? Well, the judge said I'm gonna have to do this and I'm gonna have to do that. Huh? Yeah, cause I know a lot of y'all they hurt him, you feel you, and, and, and he get discouraged. Him get discouraged and, you know, yeah, that shit. Number seven, will you be able to get your ass up when you get knocked down? Huh? When they tell you no. Huh? A lot of you ain't been battle tested. Y'all just been receiving the dick this long. You know what I mean? From a third class citizen. Number eight. What is the difference between a battle and a war? Huh? We don't give a fuck about battles over here, nigga. We care about wars. We win wars over here. We win fucking wars. You got people on this YouTube, dog. They care about battling. Battling back and forth. Nah, 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 like little bitches. Nigga, we care. We, we gonna end it and we gonna win the goddamn war. We got an old saying in Louisiana. You may win the battle, goddammit, but you ain't gonna win this war. Yeah. What's up? We win fucking wars over here at Sham Stoppers. Number nine. Will you let a motherfucker twist your words? Huh? And you got all these let me let me let me address some. You got niggas talking about, oh, he sound arrogant. He's cocky. Yeah, bitch, I'm cocky because I got a fucking cock, you dumb fuck. I'm not no pussy. I'm not finna let a pussy tell a dick what to do. I am an asshole and I'm a dick. It's about these bitches controlling your life. It ain't about sham stoppers. It's about you motherfuckers letting these motherfucking hoes tell you what to do. And then you want to have a pity party. I blame white shield for you, man, because I can fire you. I got your white shield, but he told me to be a man. I said, fuck it. No. Man the fuck up stop being a fucking bitch number 10 I spoke about this earlier can you tell someone fuck you with a smile on your face I can I'll be like yeah man fuck you you ain't gonna do shit motherfucker for real you gonna get your ass whooped Huh? What's up? I can cuss a motherfucker out with a smile on my face and mean every bit of the shit. You know what I mean? I'm like, yeah, okay, uh huh. Yeah. Okay, touch me and see what's gonna happen to your ass. I mean, you can talk all that shit. Hey, I can be a bitch, a whole ass nigga. I can be all that shit. Call me a bitch, whole ass nigga, fraud, scam. But I tell you what you won't do. You won't put your hands on me. Real talk.
Can y'all do that? Number 11. Can you control the situation, nigga? In the courtroom. Can you control the situation? Huh? Can you control the situation? Can you not let a motherfucking lawyer act like he the, he the shit? When I know this mother, I look at these motherfuckers, they have on Goodwill fucking clothes on and shit. You gonna let a motherfucker with Goodwill clothes whoop your ass? And some goddamn Salvation Army dress shoes? And you going in the family court, a woman's court? Family court is the poorest ass court. It's a fucking joke, my nigga. That shit say joke. That's a fucking circus, my nigga. That's horrible. Yeah, that shit is hard. Because you got all them old women in there want something for nothing. Begging. Family court is a begging ass court, man. That's some begging, nasty, nun dushing ass part of the... I don't know what that shit is. And how the bitch... How is going to be family court and a bitch ain't even head of the household? Y'all ain't caught on yet? That's why I say they're going to test you. They're going to test your chin, nigga. I put up the Bible, we put up laws for you, we put up all this shit, and you're still acting like you're retarded. Real talk. Some of you just act like you're just retarded. Just retarded. Need to go get a check. Go get a check. Number 12. Can you accept that you are wrong, my nigga? I can accept when I'm wrong. I accepted a lot of times I was wrong. I was wrong for fucking broke bitches. I was wrong for fucking with women with fucking children. I was wrong. I used to be a simp. I used to be a wimp. You know what I mean? I used to be all that shit, man. Till, you, till I thought about it, I said, you know what? And it ain't come when I moved, when I got to Texas. When I felt sorry for women with children. That's when I became a simp and a wimp. When I started feeling sorry for women with children. And now I see the motherfucking light. It had to take an alpha male. Like Brother Kish. To take that motherfucking. Bullshit spell off a nigga. Curse my nigga. It was a curse. Real talk. These hoes don't love you. They love what you do for them. They don't love you as a whole, as a man. They don't love like you love. A woman don't love like you love because she's a child. Because she, she, she leaves her daddy and now she looks for a new daddy. And you are supposed to be her new daddy. And you're supposed to give her love. And love ain't fucking. Love is correction, direction, instruction. That's love. Getting in her fucking ass. Go clean this goddamn house. Keep this shit clean. Go wash my motherfucking clothes. Go tend to these motherfucking children. Huh? Nigga, that's love. Number 13. Can you really stand your square? Not be nervous or shaking in the courtroom. Can y'all do that? Because I'm going to tell you something. Ain't nobody putting no gun to your head. Ain't nobody putting no gun to your head telling you to sign some paperwork. Ain't nobody doing that shit. I never seen it. Never. I don't care who don't like me. And I don't care who don't like this channel. Go suck some dick. Go to hell. Do whatever the fuck you want to do. I don't care. Because I don't spend my life caring what somebody's saying and thinking about me. They got a mental problem. Fuck. Life goes on. Number 14. Can you stay on topic and remain fucking focused? Huh? Can you remain focused? Can you stay on topic? Huh? Can you stay on the shit that you had your mind on once you step in that goddamn business meeting? 
Huh? Can you? That's all I'm asking. Because talking shit to me seeing that you can't. I don't pay child support, homie. Homeboys and homegirls. I don't pay child support and I'm not on child support. I'm not going to pay a bitch for being disobedient to God. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to let nobody up here blaspheme, blaspheme God either and tell me I got to do something and this bitch is doing the opposite. No, we're not going to do that. You're not going to keep me away from my daughters and tell me I got to give you some money. Fuck you. I don't give a fuck. See, that's a part of being a man, not giving a fuck what a bitch think or say or whoever backs her up. I don't give a fuck about what one bitch on this planet got to say about Wasil. I don't give a fuck about one pussy ass, scary ass nigga who ain't checked his motherfucking baby mama. Gotta say about YC. I don't give a fuck about that. Because this is the winner's circle over here. Let's go to 15, goddammit. Can you present what the subject matter is about? Huh? Can you present your shit instead of going in there, that arguing and, you know what I mean, going back and forth? Can you say what you mean and mean what you say? Huh? Because I'm going to tell you something. They got a gang. Do you got a gang? Huh? How about that? You ready for that? They got a click. Do you got a click? Is your click backing you up when you go in the courtroom? Because all I hear is niggas talking shit. But the main niggas who they dick in the booty being with ain't going to their court hearing with them and backing their ass up and having their back. Yeah, I'm calling out bitch niggas. Yes. Nigga, yes. That's the shit I'm talking about. All I see is everybody want validation. You know, they want, they want to be the man. Over here at Sham Stoppers, this is a business. We don't care about all that old bitch this shit. We don't care about that's bullshit. We don't care about being no man. We can't we can't already be something that we already was born. That, do that makes any sense? And a lot of motherfuckers don't that's a lot of motherfuckers don't even like the channel because they say I'm cocking. I don't give a fuck. Pay your baby mama. Take the dick. Go on elsewhere. I don't care. You got to pay a bitch, not me. I can say that and go to sleep good at fucking night, my nigga. Knowing that I ain't got a, a bitch in my back pocket. Y'all letting these hoes get out of control. Real talk. Pimpin' is not dead, you niggas is scared. Now, when you get off work, you gotta see a piece of your paycheck go to this bitch. Man, you y'all better than me, man. Y'all are a better man than me. She. Real talk. Especially in that department. No. <laughs> no, man. That's pure D fuckery, man. You get your shit. They handing out, they taking shit out of your shit like you a little child or something. Or you a hoe. And you happy and you fine with that shit. Boy, that's the craziest shit I ever heard in my life. Motherfuckers, that bitch motherfucker taking shit. You done did all this hard work. You ain't stole from them or nothing. But they said, huh, let me get this money out this little boy check and give it to this hoe over him. These hoes disobeying God. And y'all keep letting them. So just keep letting them. Till you get tired, you know where to go. 
So hey, they gonna test your ass. These people gonna test your ass. Okay? Hit us up. Peace.